you know when you're on planet Earth and everything is about, damn, my eyes are glossy. Uh, you know that everything on Earth is born into a theory that is pretty much just nothing more than Satan worship, even though Satan can't be anything more than an alien. Like, because we're stuck out in the middle of the universe, and, you know, they're all going to point their finger at you if you even mention it. But you're being opposed by everything in the universe because nothing physically agrees with you. Um, what that means is that it's a rare occasion to find, like, say, your soulmate or someone who understands your point of view, or even if it's just basic law, like don't kill people because they want to live for just any unknown reason at all. But, like, you know, you got to understand that most people convert into a derogatory form of life for any reason at all. Basically, all you're witnessing in the world is a bunch of people who don't measure anything like quantum or physical or particle physics or anything like that. They don't spend any time investing in the theory. They come up with things like magic and heaven and angels and strange, odd shit that just couldn't make any good sense. Uh, but, you know, you, you might accept that they taught you this and that they want you to believe it for their own sake. But the reality is the universe is most likely made out of particles. And the other thing you need to know is that the world is becoming more and more criminal every single day of your life. Why? Because humans tend to fade out of theory they tend to find less of a reason to support that which is their own support. Like, they are also obstructed by people who are really, truly Satan worshippers, and they want nothing more than the destruction of the Earth and all of its people and anything that's on the Earth. There are plenty of these people running around the United States, the world. We have lots of things that are basically satanic, and uh, it's, a, it's an amazing thing to, to even exist in a world such as this. Uh, it's mind-blowing that you live to be even 41 years old in the United States. Honestly, it is. It's getting to the point now where it is such a crime to exist. It's not conceivable that we even do. I'm not sure also that it's safe anymore to even exist. And you're looking in a world that is full of mental problems beyond the belief of any human that could ever do anything at all. I mean, this world is so fucked up that it is no longer conceivable to e exist here. They do not comprehend. They, they, they're, you're, you're facing all of the most worst odds every single day. It may appear to be blatantly normal, but underneath it all, the fabric that lies beneath everything that no one participates in, in the obvious position, is everything that is hidden from you that is being conducted illegally by a militant or a criminal, because inside their mind is a thought that is trapped there, that they do not care about other people or they hate you or they want to hurt you or use you or abuse you or victimize you or brutally satanically afflict pain and conflict into your life and your world you need to stand up against these people you need to be aware that they are the best liars that you will ever meet they will falsify a smile 24-7 Meanwhile, their entire plot is to destroy you. You need to know these people exist. They're all over. They work for the courts, the governments, 
the military, the police, at the, the doctor's office, everywhere you go, there are psychopaths who do not believe that you should exist. Why? Because their small minds can, cannot comprehend that sustaining human life is a potential thing. They are all at the point now where they don't want to live anymore. And they just, they don't mind killing people. It doesn't matter to them. So now we're in a phase of called the apocalypse. This is not about religion. It never was. That was all a lie. The apocalypse is simply about human thinking. Okay. It may have been created by aliens, the whole theory of religion. But it pertains to your ability to think. I don't know why this is saying that I have water in my eyes, but I don't. There is no water in my eyes. I mean, seriously, here. There is no water in my eyes, but it is saying that I do. It is a fictitious network now all across the world. There's also spiritual and every time they tell a spiritual lie, it gets produced as public information, a military action, a society action, and lies that they consistently tell every single second of the day. You're living in a world full of this shit. People are nothing more than to never be trusted at all. You are now a Satan worshiper, in my opinion, and there's nothing you can do to stop it. You're in an apocalypse, and there's a potential that you all are going to die soon. It's just because you do not conceive your duty in life. You're not real. Nothing about you is worth anything. You have no values any longer. You won't have a religious value. You won't have any money. You'll be very poor and you will likely become a victim by a bunch of psychopaths who do not support your life any longer. You have erased, erased our true values. You have lied about everything. You've created chaos on the earth morally. You're about to see that whatever is going to happen, whatever people do to create a retaliation against your immoral creations okay you do not learn or study you don't have time for that and these immoral people are satan worshipers and they're not they they don't even have to have a reason they simply will make up lies and tell them to other people that no one would ever believe anyway and they will attack you even if you don't even know they're attacking you They will attack you while you're asleep. They have different methods. They have anesthesia. They have guns, weapons, whatever. Keys to your house. They have abilities to open your house and stuff. You don't understand. There are seriously evil people all over the world. And they hurt people because this is what they want to do. Kill them. They, they don't exist. If they're, if they're hiding in plain sight, and this is the trick, is that if someone isn't legally, morally objectified as having any morals at all or, you know, social morals, they will clearly act criminal. It's obvious to read a criminal as someone who is very avoidant not legal at any sense of any time of the day. They're always off the record. They always want to be private. They never socialize. These are the kind of people you shouldn't trust. You think you should support your troops and your militaries and all this? Well, here's the problem with that. Anyone who is hiding from you all the time is clearly not your friend. Do they hide for what reason? What reason in your country especially in the United States, that 